if this system hadn't been rigged, Bernie would have got every constituency that Hillary got, and he would have gotten half the white working class. Remember, during the primaries, his constituency was white workers. He was losing all the minority vote. It was white workers and young people like yourselves. He would, it would have been a landslide. A landslide. He won Michigan, Bernie. You know? So it's the same people. I know, I know some folks are not ready to stretch tolerance so much as to tolerate the deplorables. Good night. <laughs> But remember, for you guys in particular, though you come from, I know, a privileged background, as you acknowledged, but just one notch above Hillary's deplorables, just one notch above her deplorables, whereas she put it, all the Bernie supporters who live in their parents' basement. She has as much contempt for all you guys who support Bernie as she does for the deplorables. They are all the way up there, and you are just two notches or one notch from the bottom as far as these people are concerned. I know these people close up. I know them close up. There used to be said about Nelson Rockefeller, who none of the young people in this room know. He was the governor of New York State and came from the fantastically rich Rockefeller fa family, oil. And it was said about Nelson Rockefeller. Nelson Rockefeller, he is a true Democrat. Rockefeller is a Democrat, a true Democrat. He has contempt for everybody. And that's these people. They have contempt for everybody. So as you knock the deplorables, don't forget many of you are just in their worldview, you're one notch above. You are living in your parents' basement. You are all losers also. The Bernie people, they're all losers. That's how they saw it. That's how they saw it. For them, the only people that count are the ones who vacation in the Hamptons. It may make you laugh, and you may think I'm being hyperbolic, but that's a fact. That's the people that count, the ones who vacation in the Hamptons, and the rest they count for nothing. So I would exercise some caution. Well, sorry, can I shoot this back for one second? Mm -hmm. I, I certainly just, I don't mean to, um, I mean, I think you're right. I think that if I were to sort of like actually pick one sort of entity to blame, I probably would say like the smugness and the arrogance of the Clinton campaign. Um, I'm not, I think that they certainly I, I did. I don't mean to equate the fact that I'm I'm disturbed that all these people voted for Trump with the fact that like, and like, I I, I approve of the way that the Clinton campaign ran things. I think that I mean it was so smug and arrogant the entire time. Paul Krugman is the liberal economist in the Times. Yep. Remember when he was saying Bernie's voodoo economics, yeah. the Bernie dead enders. The Bernie losers, they, they were the ones who created this whole mess. They were the ones who destroyed the Sanders candidacy, which was the only hope for 80% of America. And, that, and this is what they got for it. They were the ones who are responsible yeah. for what happened. The dead enders. Dead enders? The kids who want to be able to move out of their house, to start up a family, to get a job? They're dead-enders. The ones who have $160,000 in debt when they come out of school, they're dead-enders. The ones who live now, every young person I talk to, what, I, I know their rents, six to $750 a month living with three other people. That's everybody I, I talk to. Or I, with I, their parents. Or with their parents. They're the dead-enders, the losers. No, you got, I know everything you say is true because the price is going to be paid by the wrong people, you know. I know that. How is Paul Krugman going to suffer? You know, I know that. But part of me says they got what they deserved. 